Well, folks, <clears throat> chilly Tuesday afternoon, and I got the head cam on. Been chatting with my friends at RGM. Well, let's give a little chat about the coming <clears throat> uh, heap of activity here at Building 14. So, as you see, we have the Frenchman Monsieur Debris on the right side. <clears throat> Here we have Valencourt in. We are setting the meter boxes, and about an hour ago I requested all the remaining meters and uh, water meters. Water meters. <clears throat> and we're making sure they're not going to be in the driveway. They have to be at least six foot three inches from the back of the Miami curb so we don't end up with it in the sidewalk. Um, so here's what I got going on. We passed our stucco lath inspection with the county third party engineer today. So stucco will commence soon. Then I have to do get the water meters installed. Then we're gonna do have RGM come, so we're gonna have stucco going on. RGM is gonna come and do what's called driveway cut with the bobcat. Get everything ready for the pavers, uh, and then we're gonna pour the sidewalk. Then uh, plumber's got to come and put his backflow preventers here. Those will be the black boxes. You'll see those again. Hook the building up each unit with water. Um, then the stucco has got scaffold all the way around it. But, but before we do pavers, we have to then have the landscape company come and sleeve their irrigation. So put pipes in the ground, which will be underneath all the driveway and everything. So later they can just run their irrigation sleeve right through that pipe. And... Uh, then stucco's gonna take about eight, nine days once we get started. Then the painter's gonna come, and then we can set uh, the paver driveway, so don't wanna risk getting paint on the pavers. And then on the outside, we're kinda getting ready to go for uh, in, um, landscape. Uh, so back on the inside, I have not seen any of the drywall finishers yet, but um, the inside's gonna get real busy too. So really, once you get to drywall, this just becomes a lot of activity. So what the drywall guys are gonna do, finishers, the finishers, um, all these seams and uh, nail holes, screw holes. <laughs> it's the first coat. They have this long stick, and at the end of it, there's a head on the end where it's got all the drywall tape. It's about a little over two inches wide, and then they put drywall mud in that stick, and they're able to run it kind of like you're wrapping shipping packages right and they just take a trowel with drywall mud and they hit the nail heads then we let it dry in this in in this case we have real low humidity and the summer is more of a challenge because we have to wait for the, each coat to dry before we continue with the next coat then they come with a larger trowel a wider trowel i should say and they redo the whole thing all over again uh, they sand in between each coat, by the way, so it's going to get super dusty in here. Um, then after that dries, it comes sand again, and the last pass is a 10-inch trowel, just to blend in all of these seams here. And then the big texture mobile comes, and it looks like we're going to be textured the entire building by next Wednesday or Thursday. That's from Eric. Uh, in the summertime, it's more hit and miss because if we have a big rainstorm or uh, it, it's just too humid, sometimes we can't. It takes two days for the drywall to, uh, to uh, the mud to dry so we could sand it. Uh, so it, and this is going to be the same way for every building. So kind of once we hang drywall, then it unleashes a whole bunch of other tasks, both inside and outside. So we're going to be busy. 